What is going on, everybody? It is the Phantom Michael, and I'm bringing you the next episode of our Pokemon Rejuvenation. If you guys have not seen the last episode, be sure to go back and check it out. We've been exploring this little cave down here, um, so we're going to finish this up today. Uh, we'll do a quick team recap in case you haven't been here in a while. Um, up first, we have Gator, our starter Pokemon with Scratch, Ice Fang, Water Gun, and Bite. We have Eric, the Gloom, Mega Drain, Growth, Sweets, and Acid. We have Bertha. With Bulldoze, Rock Throw, Rock Smash, and Magnitude. We have A Drive, the Grubbin, Mud Slap, Bite, Bug Bite, and Spark. And we have Hong, the Drowsy, Hypnosis, Disable, Sidebeam, and Headbutt, along with Falcon, Ember, Flail, Quick Attack, and Peck. Alright, let's get to going here. We rumbling. We throwing some hands. Ooh, a Captain, and a Porygon. I feel like we can do this. Why the hell would you protect first turn? You, you literally had the advantage. I mean, that could be why. Ooh, a Servon. Damn, that thing's fast. Damn, that thing is fast. Boom. Can we get the Oko, please? Servon is dead. And that's what I like to see. Ooh, speed boost on the chicken. Speed boost and chicken. But is he gonna die from that? Ooh, looks very, very close. Maybe, oh, I can't freeze him. Free, no freezing, because uh, it abandons secondary effects on moves. So, that's fine. On. Macho. Forgot he had a macho. Totally forgot he had a macho. Boom, you're dead. You're dead. Ooh, this is gonna be nice chunk of experience right here. Almost should switch switch out freaking. Hopefully he misses and I switch to Grubbin. Because I would totally switch to Grubbin for this. Ooh. Nice. Hit the next one, Machoke. Hit the next one. Hit a mock punch. Soft four. That's fine. I feel like Machoke's in about to wreck your life anyway. Go ahead. One hit. Punch it. Low kick. Dead. Dead. Nice. Acrobatic. You damn right. You damn right. Bus is here, boys. The bus is here. I love it. Got the charger bug. That's what I'm talking about. No. Don't need it. Don't need the ability. High dragon fit. How the fuck is high dragon fitting in that son of a bitch? Made any goddamn sense. Back on the same one. Good look, I guess. On the wrong way, boys. shit right here. Some confusion ass shit. Hmm. How the 
hill. Come on, man. Come on, man. The hell is the puzzle? You can do it. like 20 years all that for an upgrade all that for an upgrade all that for an upgrade mother oh tell it about that now come on got it okay let's just go kill this biatch another tip where the fuck did they find all the timbers at pikachu Go kick this chick's face in. Yeah. Look at that shiny pattern. It's shiny. Shiny. Oh, it's got a little trigger. What moves do you got, Mime Jr.? I feel like you had some just damage and super effective attacks. Not a bad Pokemon, actually. It's not what I wanted to hit, you stupid, stupid son of a gun. Okay. Whatevs. 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 Be ready, Phantom. What the fuck? Is there a s secret button? I mean, honestly, how long does it take to gather your keys, especially if they've been laid out for you? I knew getting the keys to your room was too easy. Of course it was. After all, I wanted all of you to get here eventually. I just had some unfinished business I need to handle first. Enough. And what if I refuse? What, what then? The obligarity route. You mean murder, right? Please, Kita, you and I both know the murder is beyond you. After all, Talia wouldn't appreciate you going against what she believed in, would she? Whatever it takes. I hope you know that doing this voids the contract we created. But I am a merciful woman. Surrender and I'll forget the past grievances. Not a chance. I'm ordering you all to leave this place now. Hmm. It seems some fools never truly learn. You've gone through great lengths to protect this girl despite giving up your entire village. Back when we formed our contract, you gave me a list of everyone living in Sheridan, but you omitted a single name, even though we already discussed their fate long before. Sensei gave up Sheridan Village to Team Exon. Mm, your Sensei offered the lives of every single member of Sheridan for a favor in return, which is a complete contradiction of whatever you're going doing now, Kita. Alita, you must already know why. Why don't you enlighten us? Oh, fine. I'll say it, it's because you're his daughter. My stance has not changed, I will not back down. How unfortunate. You are very well aware of what we have here in this laboratory, right? What we have is the most powerful shadow Pokemon to date. Is that a fucking Mewtwo? Whoa. Automated dispenser unit 3135.747, th come in. Release the Mewtwo. Give it a moment. Command recognition, releasing subject, Mewtwo. Beautiful, isn't it? Look at that beautiful green aura around its body. Normal Shadow Pokemon do not contain this green hue. This aurora is the true essence of Mewtwo's power. Now, tremble before the power of the Shadow Mewtwo. Oh, that's right. Your snag machine will become a problem, won't it? That's fine, because of Zeta's reports, I've been able to find the perf Perfect solution to that problem. Computer, activate the snag machine recognition advice. Command recognition navigation started. The snag machine. The way that snag machine works is that it overrides the programming in a normal Pokeball. They're programmed to reject any Pokemon that has already registered in another Pokeball. All the snag machine does is make it so the perception doesn't exist. Now that the signal from the snag machine and your Pokeballs have been jammed, you won't be able to steal my beautiful creation away from me. This isn't good. I was banking on you being able to snag that thing away from her. But now that that's not an option, I'm sure what to do next. Alright. Alright, I have to figure out how to stop this. Because right now the game is in like... 
crazy cahoots. I wonder what the fuck I what, what I hit for this speed up. Hmm. Yo. There we go. I have no idea how to do that. Oh, it's still speeding up. Come on, Martha. Woo. I have one chance at this. Hypnosis Hong. Hong. All right, it's up to you, Falco. Quick attack. Damn it. Phantom Lost is You should see your face is priceless. If that's all you have, I guess it's time to finally obliterate you both. No, you can't do that. Don't hurt them. You can't be serious. You cannot take on a Pokemon of Mewtwo's power with such ease. Back away from Mewtwo now, Kita. This isn't over. You two must proceed beyond this room in the generator room. If you can destroy that generator, everything will end. Medea's data, her research, her shadowification program, everything. Although it won't stop them forever, it will slow down their tracks. You're a fool, Kita. If all you want to do, to do is die doing something rash, you should have just told me. Fine, go on. You two can go and try to destroy the generator. But you'll find that the task will be surprisingly difficult, impossible even. I'll deal with Kita myself. Come on, Phantom, we gotta go. Alright, all right, why the fuck am I running? Like, why am I moving this fast? How do I fix this shit? What button was it? What? I want to know what button I accidentally hit. So weird, guys. I don't know. And the main reason I'm really trying to figure this out. Oh, it's right there. It's alt. It's alt. Yo, now I know. Okay. Fandom, before we go on, I have to apologize for not clarifying things. It's true, I am Sensei's daughter, but I doubt that was, wasn't obvious. From a very young age, I've been taught to, to pretend that, that we had no connection. An obvious lie. But... No, we can talk about this another time. We have to shut down the generator. Okay. Well, let's do it then, bro. Oh my god, look at that, dude. I know exactly what that is. This must be the generator control panel. We can deactivate it from here. What is that? A damn, uh, Volcanion. Enough. I told you that Kido wouldn't stand a chance against Mewtwo. How right I was. The old man couldn't take one punch without dying. Extremely embarrassing, if you ask me. No, that can't be! It can and it is. Just a second ago, you said that this thing behind the generator, right? I did. How can that thing be the generator? It looks more like a Pokemon. That's because it is a Pokemon, dearie. That thing is actually a Pokemon, a legendary Pokemon Volcanion. That Pokemon was originally going to be the most powerful Shadow Pokemon ever. However, its resistance was too much. So instead of throwing it out, we converted it into another being, a living generator to power this place. Karuto's Mountain used to be filled with pure water. We couldn't we could have used hydroelectric powering, but I wanted to see Volcanion and Kita suffer. We were going to melt the mountain down, taking its resources, then as a final gift to Sheraton, we would release the magma onto Sheraton and claim the lives of each and every member. You're a monster! True I am, but what does that make you? Phantom, take care of the generator. I'll take care of these two. Don't be foolish. You think you'll 
just press a button and the generator will stop. No, as long as that thing lives, the generator shall be active. I don't suppose you've seen black and red pipes throughout the mountain. Those are its limbs. It's latched in, on into the mountain, so if you want to stop it, you'll have to murder it. Phantom, please. Okanion. Oh, shit. God damn it. Some super fucking volcano on a bit. That's awesome. Downloading, downloading, downloading. It's located in the rift decks. Yeah. Heal, heal up, dog. Ooh, there's a. I have to. Activated. Activated. Volcanion. Rid. Rid the intruder. Alright. Oh my goodness. Look at that damn thing, bro. Is it fire, water, or water, fire? Don't really know. Damn it. Hmm. Ooh. Dark time movie is amplified down here. Hit me while close again. I'm, I know exactly how I'm gonna beat you, Volcanium. How the hell do you get a damn confusion first turn? Stupid. Bite it again. Come on, bite it, bite it, bite it. Yes! Boom. Nothing. Nothing. Gator is confused. Hit with a bite. And I think that's all she wrote. Warning, warning. Magma levels dangerously unstable. Power generating system failing. Activating temporary generator. Estimated time before meltdown, 30 minutes. Fuck. Warning, warning. Severe meltdown imminent. Evacuation mandatory. Let's get out of here. Obey your master. Oh my god. What have you done to me? What have you done to my body? It seems as though you underestimated me yet again. What did you do to Mewtwo? I did nothing. As you said yourself, Mewtwo isn't finished. As you may know, the hearts of shadow Pokemon open up the longer they remain shadow. It seems as though Mewtwo's resistance caused this process to speed up. Now you're paying the consequence. Phantom, you shouldn't be throwing yourself into affairs of others. If you do, you'll end up like this girl here. Don't worry, she isn't dead. She's just been knocked unconscious. Evacuation! Right, well, I suppose evacuation is indeed mandatory. Got the toe, get these two out of here. Look at that shit, just boop, we're gone. Why are you laughing? Got the tail. what did you do? Ooh. Somewhere very distant. What the hell is going on here, Natasha? We've been losing important assets left and right ever since the attack on the SS Oceana. One of them being the most important, Malia. What are we supposed to do now that we have lost something so incredibly vital? Not only that, but Zeta has been captured by Crescent. Zeta is the only one capable of creating the dimensional rifts. Calm yourself, Gira. There's no need to shout. We can all hear you. Don't shout. I think I'm pretty in the okay to shout as loud as I want. That worthless trash Medillus failed her mission as well. I'm not exactly sure why you guys are so calm about this. Speaking of trash. Would you just shut up? I could hear you banter from the other room. I don't think you're you're in the right spot to tell me to shut up. Shut up. Sorry, Natasha. 
It's great to see that you finally show your face after your oh so horrible defeat. Care to give us all insight? I need a drink. That's your insight. Ah, my dude, I think it, it would be smarter if you answered Natasha. Well, if you really want to know what happened, which we don't, I got caught up in with a traitor. Oh, a traitor amongst us. Well, where was a traitor, but I disposed of him. Kita tried to retaliate against me back at the lab. You let an old man get the best of you? Obviously not. After I disposed of him, I went after the children. Then, when I finally cornered them, they had done too much damage to the system already. Are you telling me that children are responsible for your failure? Well, no, not completely. Crescent showed up after I almost got rid of them. Crescent? But what are the children? They must have power if they were able to take out a dimensional rift. Their names are Phantom and Alita. Phantom and Alita? We should dispose of them accordingly. They're wretched children. They definitely have power in their hands. We should be more careful and plot their movements. Screw that. Natasha, let me handle them. I'm bored being stuck here in the room all the time anyways. If you wish, go right ahead. Yeah, you can't afford to anger Madam X any further. Yeah, that'd be right. What? That's the kid. That's Phantom. It's you. Don't worry, I got them. And they're gone. What the fuck? Is that what damn Gothitelle did to me? Awesome. Still nothing from Phantom? No, it's been a week and I haven't seen or heard from Phantom. I'm sure they'll turn up eventually. Yeah. Phantom, where are you? What's that? Hmm. Phantom! Where have you been? You've been gone for a week. I was worried sick, you know? The last thing I remember was fighting Medillus and getting knocked out. I suddenly woke up here in Sheraton without anyone. I know my father isn't here with us anymore, and I know he's done some terrible things, but I don't think he wanted to do them in the first place. And if it weren't for him, I don't know what would happen. So I'll be strong and carry his legacy on for him. I think it's what he would have wanted anyway. But, but that aside, I haven't just been mopping around for a week. I know you'd eventually return if I was patient, so the eldest and I did some research on Shadow Pokemon. I think we found something that can purify Shadow Pokemon. Sweet, dude. I'm sure the eldest is eager to tell you more, so let's go speak to her, okay? Yo. We got a couple more minutes left, dude, and we're deaf about to go check this shit out. I'm using my speedo button. Is it... We go to her house? God damn it. The problem with the speedo button is you can't control where the f*** you go. Apparently. Is she in here? Aw, oh, what are the chances she went back up to the top? Fuck. She probably did. She probably went back up to the very tip top. God damn it. Oh well. In here maybe? Maybe not. Maybe in here? Nope. Locked that is. Well then where the fuck did she go? That's the dag um Not in there. I didn't check the room here yet. Nope. Well, then where the fuck did she go? Can't be in here. Okay, not there. Does she have a house that I don't know about? Nope. Grandma oh, there. It was once said that Sheraton Village had the power to open one's heart and mind. That power is indeed hidden somewhere in Sheraton. Why is it hidden? It's something we must protect. Yes, in fact, it's critical. People have tried to steal this power in the past, which focus forced us to close off the area completely. Oh, the irony, a place where you open yourselves up has been closed itself. In a way it is, but the time has come to end. Come with me. Where are we? Oh, I don't understand this. It's just a clay figure of some Pokemon. Ah, uh, but it is not just any clay figure. 
This is actually the gateway into the place called Purity Grove. It's a gateway. Correct. Its body is imbued with spiritual energy. Only those with permission from me are able to use this power. Simply touch the clay figure on its head and... Augur Subsensuous. Oh, it's a spell, huh? Ooh! Teleportation. Well, damn. Welcome to the Spring of Purification. This is the sacred grove Sheridan Village has protected for hundreds of years. This spring isn't as powerful as it once was many years ago. However, there is where you'll be able to purify any shadow Pokemon you come across. But before we are able to do that, we must bless this area by calling the voice of the forest. The voice of the forest? Yes, the voice of the forest is a temp temporal being that shares its power to purify evil beings. It is the reason why this place exists. What do we have to do to call it? I'll show you. Hey, uh, did you hear that noise? Hearing things during our battles don't lay me with these lame excuses. That's why you're losing. Hey, I'm serious. I'm not talking. I'm not making this up. What the fuck is that? Is that a damn shiny Celebi or something? Oh, Eldest, nothing seems to be happening. Oh, you must be patient, Alita. The voice of the force isn't native to the floor district of... It will take just a little while for it to get here. Eldest, what is that? The voice of the forest looks like it's finally here. Celebi, the voice of the forest. It's here. Celebi's voice of the forest. Please bless the shrine so that we may purify shadow Pokemon. Thank you for your hard work, Celebi. Wait, it's leaving just like that? Celebi cannot stay in one place for too long. After all, it looks over all of... Ayuva with the power to travel across time. It must return home where it belongs. I see. So now Phantom can naturally purify any shadow Pokemon. When a shadow Pokemon's heart is completely open, it can be purified here. That's great to hear. Now, you're that much more powerful, Phantom. Aren't you glad to meet me here? But that's it for you here, isn't it? You'll be leaving here and continuing your journey. I just want to wish you the best, okay? I'm sure you'll be visiting a lot I'm sure you'll be visiting a lot since you'll be needed to purify shadow Pokemon. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. What's the matter, Lita? Phantom didn't let us ruin your snag machine? Oh, I remember now. She's jammed its signal or something. I must have a solution to your problem. I heard that there is a famous engineer visiting Akua Town at that mo at the moment. I believe her name was Saki Blackery? Ah, oh, Blakery. That's a name you don't hear often. Well, anyway, she might be able to help you fix your snag machine. Oh, you're a genius, Eldest. If you go to Akua Town and find Saka, you might be able to fix the snag machine. Why don't you go along as well, Alita? Do you mean it? I can really go? What about the village? What will they do without Sensei? Survive. We will survive. I will look after the village until you return. Oh, thank you, Eldest. We won't for regret the decision. But there is one thing I must tell you. We'll be fine. There's no need to worry. Once Alita is fixed on something, it's hard to stop her. She reminds me so much of Vivian, or what I was trying to warn you to about that before as Alita stormed off. To get to Akumo, you must go through Golden Leaf Town. The people of Golden Leaf Town are not too keen on visitors. You must be careful and take care of each other. To leave here, simply walk on the red cube the appeared on. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay, I can play Shadow Pokemon there. I have... Oh, it's over. Okay. All right. That is going to end today's episode. Now we know that we can... Son of a bitch. You've done well, Phantom. I'd like for us to talk in Amethyst Grotto. I can take you there if you'd like. Sure. It's been a long time, Phantom. Although you could not see me, I could see you and what you were able to accomplish. Unfortunately, Kita was not able to walk out alive as you and Alita did. This is fine. We were prepared for this outcome. Now, what does that mean for you? It means that you cannot receive a badge from him, correct? Fine, it is settled. I also wish to leave the realm of the living. If you are able to put my soul to rest with a battle, I shall create a new badge for you. Well, we're ending this episode off with a f another with a gym leader badge. Part 2, son! Part 2. We're fighting this guy again. And he's, he's going to hell. 
Roshana. Oh, I didn't even heal. Man, you motherfuckers. That ain't gonna do much. Ooh, it did more than I needed. Damn it. I thought I was gonna kill it. Alright. I'm gonna go Falco. Use a quick, quick attack. That really quick, you dead. You dead. I need it right there. Lapper. You got a fucking lapper? Shit. Go A drive. Don't freeze me like you've been doing. Holy shit. I did a lot of damage. Did a whole lot of damage. Okay. All right. Respect. 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 Eric, I need you to survive and hit this Mega Drain. You have to survive, Eric. I need you to survive. Damn it. Lapras, though. Lapras is fucking powerful. Long, I guess. Me with the ice shard, okay. Respect, respect. Put your bitch ass to sleep. The side beam. Ooh, nice. Awesome. Who the hell can I revive, T man? Eric, maybe? I don't want to do it yet. I'm going to weaken him down a little bit and then... Okay. Survive the size beam. You're gonna survive it. You're gonna you're, you're gonna hit this. Hit it. Now we're switching. We're hard switching. Still sleeping. That's what I like to see. Mega drain. Still sleeping. That's what I'm talking about. Mega drain. Ooh, did a little, did quite a bit. Still sleeping. Still sleeping. That's what I'm talking about. Mega drain again. Mega drain again. Damn it, man! I couldn't get a high roll once. Fuck. Get a low roll, low roll, low roll, low roll. Damn it, man. Oh, I know who can kill this thing though. Falco, get out there. talking about Cario coming out okay oh he has the same shadow fucking Cario you yeah, know alright well damn burn him is that gonna kill me uh I think I'll live on like two maybe no damn did not shit Shit. Bertha? Uh, bring back here. Bring him back Gator from the dead. Shit. I might be dead. I can heal Hong real quick. What's your HP? Is it 
Dark? Nope. Fight, side beam. Get low roll. You survived my tongue, you legend! So damn close. So damn close. what it feels like to be at the end. I almost see her beautiful eyes. Is that what he said? Alright. It's gonna be interesting. Don't have solar beam or nothing. Hidden power, what is it? What the fuck kind of hidden power you got? Don't you die. Must be hidden power grass or something. Damn. Come on, man. Can't beat him. All right, well, it's over. All right, and I lost $800. Cool. Well, F it. Alright, you guys. Well, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please smash the like button. Your support would be greatly appreciated. On the next episode, we're going to go back and whoop his ass. So, yeah. Alright. I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will see you guys in the next one.